everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but pretty way. If you're new here or you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, it will be so great if you could click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so we can see each other every week. And back in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make a drag mini dress. This dress has the top and the bottom in one piece and one tie of the dress will belong to this piece as well so when you tie the dress it will create a gathering fabric at one side and make the dress look really nice I use linen fabric for this DIY but you also can use cotton or any non-stretchy fabric Besides that, it doesn't take that long to finish the dress after you having your own pattern so I hope you will track it out and let's get started the first step is making the pattern for the dress. To make the back pattern, I draw a horizontal line at the middle of it. From the top of this line, I mark at one side 9cm, which is a half of the width of the neck that I want, minus 1cm for seam allowance later. After that, I mark at 3cm inside the horizontal line, then connect this mark to the first one and draw a curved line based on it later. It will be the neckline of the back pattern. From the third mark, which is the top of the neckline, I mark out 21cm, which is the length of the sleeve that I want. Then drawing a horizontal line from that mark. I mark at 2cm on this horizontal line to create a slightly down of the shoulder line. Then connect it to the mask on the neck to finish the shoulder line. From the end of this line, I draw a new line that is perpendicular with it. The length of this line is 22cm, which is the width of the sleeve that you want. From the top of the first horizontal line, I mark down at 27cm, which is the length from the shoulder to the middle of the breast, plus 1cm. Then draw a straight line from that mark later. The length of this straight line is 23cm, which is a quarter of my bust side, plus 2cm. Then connect the end of this line to the end of the sleeve line. From the horizontal line, I keep marking at 40cm, which is the length from the shoulder to 3cm above the belly button. It will be the waist position of the dress that I want. Then drawing a straight line after that. The length of this straight line is 19cm, which is a quarter of my waist side, blood 3cm. Then connect the end of this line to the end of the bust line. From the top of the horizontal line, I make another mark at 60cm, which is the length from the shoulder to the picket part of the butt. Then drawing another straight line from it later. The length of this straight line is 25cm, which is a quarter of my hip side blood 2cm. Then connect the end of this line to the end of the waistline. Keep doing similar. I mark at 90cm from the top of the horizontal line. It's the length from the shoulder to above my knee. It's also the length of the dress that I want. Then drawing a straight line after that. The length of this line is 30cm which is a quarter of my hip side plus 7cm. Then connect the end of this line to the end of the hip line. So you can see the raw side line of the back pattern. Drawing a curved line based on it to finish the side line. And you will have the half of the back pattern. Fold the paper at the first horizontal line and cut along the drawing. You will have the back pattern of the dress. To make the front pattern, we will start from the back pattern. 
At the shower daylight, I moved down 2 cm. From the bus line, I marked up 4 cm on the horizontal line. So the width between this mark to the neck will be the dip of the neck that you want. Then connect this mark to one end of the neck to create the neckline for the front pattern. After that, I connect the neckline to another end of the waistline. Because of the ties is connected to the front of the dress, so I add a bit more paper at the waistline area to create it. From one end of the waistline, I draw a 20cm line which is the length of the tie that I want. Then based on this line, I draw another line with 4cm to the side of it. I draw a curved line at the top of the tie. Then drawing another curved line to connect one side of the tie to the neckline. At the other side of the tie, I draw a curved line to connect it to the end of the dress in the middle. And this will be the outside part of the front dress. To make the inside part, from the other side of the tie on the waistline, I mark at 30 cm which is a half of my waist side minus 2 cm. Then drawing a horizontal line from it to the end of the pattern. After that, I draw a curved line from one side of the tie to connect to this horizontal line. As the inside part will have a tie go through the back of the dress to connect to the outside tie. So the tie will be longer than the outside part. Therefore, I stop the inside part at the beginning of the tie and I will connect them together when sewing later. And here's the inside part and the outside part of the front pattern. I use around 2 meters of blue linen fabric for this DIY. The width of my fabric is 140 cm. Apply the patterns on the fabric and draw along. After cutting, I connect the front and the back of the dress together at the shoulder and the side lines. Then I connect the inside part to the ties. To finish the sleeve, I fold the end fabric inside two times and sew it together. To hem the neck, I use a small long fabric with 2 cm width. I connect one side of the fabric to the neck and make the first seam. After that, I cut a half of the extra fabric first, then fold the rest of the long fabric inside two times and make the second seam.
I do the same for the rest of the dress from the neck to the tie and to the end of the dress. The last step is unsew a small part of one side line for the inside tie to go through. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is a cute dress and easy to put on every day. So I hope you will try it out. See you next week.